Hello everyone. Welcome to the application tutorial video of CrowPanel ESP32, Advanced HMI Lesson 4. The effect we want to achieve in this lesson is to save images on an SD card and display the images on the screen. The implementation of this lesson requires everyone to prepare an SD card and a card reader. This lesson will be divided into four parts for explanation. The first part is to save the search image to the desktop. The second part is to modify the resolution of the image. The third part is to modify the code. The fourth part is to upload the code. First, enter the first part. Please open your browser and search for the image you want to display. I want to display pictures of animals on the Crow Panel ESP32 Advanced HMI here. Search for animal in the search box, select the picture you want to display, save it on the desktop, and rename it. Of course, you can also choose not to save it on the desktop. I saved it on the desktop for easy access. Due to the different resolutions of product sizes, it is necessary for everyone to modify the appropriate image resolution according to different sizes for use. Here is a reference for the resolution required for each product size. I will take the 3.5 inch Crow Panel ESP32 Advance HMI as an example to explain how to modify the resolution of an image. Firstly, search for paint in the toolbar of the computer. Open this tool, drag and drop the image that needs to be modified, click Resize, readjust the resolution of the image, and cancel the aspect ratio. The required resolution for a 3.5 inch size is 480 times 320. After completing the modifications, click on File and then click on Save As. Here, I have created a folder on the desktop with a size of 480 times 320 and saved the modified images in this folder. Similarly, modify the remaining images as well. The picture is ready. Now take out a card reader. Insert the SD card into the card reader and connect the card reader to the computer. Wait for the computer to recognize the SD card. Open the disk represented by the SD card, insert the image with the modified resolution into this disk, and safely remove it. Remove the SD card from the card reader and insert it into the TF card slot of the 3.5 inch Crow Panel ESP32 Advance HMI. The preparation work is done. According to your suitable size, open the corresponding code we provided. In this lesson, I used a 3.5 size Crow Panel ESP32 Advanced HMI, so I opened the 3.5 size code. For the convenience of everyone using the code I wrote, just change the image path and resolution stored in the SD card in the code. As you can see, the path of the image I store on the SD card is the current path, plus the name of the image. In the loop, modify the resolution size in the show image function. The 3.5 inch Crow Panel ESP32 Advance HMI I'm using here requires a resolution of 480 times 320. Next, let me explain the difference between the code for size 3.5 and the code for other sizes. Firstly, let's talk about the difference between the 3.5 inch size and the 2.4 inch and 2.8 inch sizes. The pin settings for these three sizes are the same. The biggest difference in the code for these three sizes is that each size has a different resolution and different configurations in the pins config file. Then in the loop, the resolution set by the display image function is different. Next is the difference between the 3.5 size and the 4.3 size, 5.0 size, and 7.0 size codes. Firstly, the pin settings of the SD card are different, and secondly, the resolution set by the display image function in the loop loop is different. The code modification is complete. Next, simply upload the code to the Crow Panel ESP32 Advance HMI, and you will see the image displayed on it. But before uploading the code, for the 4.3 inch, 5.0 inch, and 7.0 inch Crow Panel ESP32 Advance HMI, the mode needs to be switched to TF card mode. Also, please remember to replace the library files with different sizes. If you forget how to replace them, 
please review lesson 2. Finally, click to upload the code. After waiting for a while, you will see the image repeatedly displayed on the Crow Panel ESP32 Advanced HMI. That's all for now. If this class has been helpful to you, we hope you can give us feedback and encouragement. Thank you for watching. See you in the next episode.